okay yeah so data see xml is um a type uh, a standard tagging mechanism for portable documents right data is a framework built on top of xml it's an extension of the xml uh, right um, it's a framework that uh, lets content writers create content which is modular reusable and um, rebrandable right all the features that we talked about in the earlier screens this framework that was created by worldwide web consortium way way back like in the 90s probably yeah in the 90s it was created um so it is to um give a structured content modularization right with this architecture content writers can build organize and evolve content like when when a company that started as a single product company if you have a ccm ccms we can easily scale it up into a multi-product. I'm talking in terms of technical documentation, right? You can scale documentation from one product to multiple products with, if you have a, a data-based CCMS uh, underlying. So scaling is a um, lot more easier with data, right? Uh, and it, this framework is optimized for creation and publication of technical documents. It's, like, it's primarily for technical documentation although you could extend it for other use cases but it's mostly used for technical documentation like describing what a product does and uh, troubleshooting documents how to documents so on so right the, the core components of data are like primarily topics and maps uh, topic is the modular like the lowest form like of course, there is there is snippet again, but if you we think of a small Lego block, that individual piece is called topic, and you can assemble topics into a map. Like if you think of a book, right? You have at the beginning an index that is in page one, you have chapter one, page ten, you have chapter two, right? If you think of each chapter as a topic, the the index is where you have a list of topics that were created that were assembled to create the book. So uh, the four building blocks would be maps and topics. Within topics, you have different types of topics and within maps, there are different types of maps. Uh, we'll go into those details um, throughout the course, right? This is a standard used across the industry for writing technical documentation. If you see here, the first I'll, I'll walk through the uh, plugins here on the top in the toolbar. The first one is to insert element. You can insert different types of element, image, keyword, uh, table, p tag, q tag, um, text. These are all data elements, right? Data concepts, uh, the data framework, elements defined in the data framework. Uh, so you can different type insert different types of elements. So wherever you put your cursor, that's where it will insert. Right? If I say image and browse for an image, I have images in a different folder. Uh, but let's say electric power, right? And not going to give any key. Um, just an out. So it inserts within, like I, I had my cursor here, right? It inserts there and each element will have a, each, each individual element will also have a GUID. You can, on the right hand side, you have that individual element properties. Uh, you can play around with that. Uh, we'll go, get into the details in future classes. But at that element level, it has its own properties and attributes. Uh, and you, uh, we use this to achieve um, rebranding and dynamic content, uh, these attributes. But for now, since we added just the alt text and the ID, uh, this system generated ID, it's here and then the the main guid as usual it's generated at creation you cannot change it and that's that is what will be used for referring right 
So insert element and this insert paragraph, it gives a P tag. Let's say I want, if you, even if you click enter, that's what happens. But if I say P, it, it adds another paragraph, insert numbered list, right? If the structure is predefined. You have uh, ordered list and then you have list item. Uh, this is my first list item, right? And then you click it automatically. This is my second list item, right? This is the editor, right? This is the editor that um, allows you to easily create data content, right? You can insert and let's say I have another P tag uh, an example for unordered list. Click enter or within that P itself, if I want to insert, right? Uh, okay, it automatically converted that, good. Uh, two unordered item number two, right? And then you can have table, insert images. You can insert from here. Again, whatever things that you are inserting, these, these additional things are shortcuts. You can do from here as well. You can go table, image, unordered list, ordered list. It, it will be available here as well, but these are like simple shortcuts for that, uh, right? So uh, you can insert video um youtube maybe uh, like if you have a reference the youtube id you can insert a youtube video as directly or if you have a file uh in dam you can refer to that and then if you want to refer to another article this is how you would do um uh, we'll get this i think i think you can add it here right it allows so the the validation if you try to do uh uh addition at a wrong place it won't allow right that that the plugin does the validation for us so it guides the authors in having in retaining and maintaining the structure so you can have reference within a p tag or within uh, with inside a tag so i can have a reference to another article uh, i can refer to another data map, data topic, right? Let's say I have, you, let's say I use this, right? You can, within that topic, if you want to refer an individual section, you can do that. Let me do that individual section, right? You have a topic and we are going further, more granular uh, and just referring to that. Uh, again, each individual one, I'll dig deeper in, in our future classes. I'm just giving you a skim through of what it can do. Uh, reusable content, let's say you have created a reusable content here. Inside that, you can refer to that. It's a dedicated section. And then this one, special character. Ah, I'm not aware of this, but yeah, uh, predefined uh, Unicode characters. Um, different ASCII characters, Unicode characters. Uh, if you want to insert, you can have that quote or oh, this is citation. Citation is nothing but a different template. I don't have any citations created. Uh, if you have other resources have uh, citations available, uh, we can uh, refer to that as well. And then snippet uh, is also a reusable uh, content. We haven't created any snippets yet, but once we do, we can have have that as well. Uh, these are tags. Uh, this is just the toggle view tags, right? Some people, once you get familiar, right? Um, you don't. Uh, you would be more comfortable not seeing the tags, so you can remove the tag tag view and then just start typing like you are doing a word document. Uh, but in the beginning, I would recommend just using with the tags and once you are more comfortable remove the tags uh, usually content authors if they are non-technical people they they get confused by these tags they get overwhelmed right i i i, I ran into that that case with my in, in my company they they were like oh what are these tags i'm not technical they get scared immediately 
Uh, so you can tell them, yeah, you can just switch the toggle view and then write your content as if you're writing inside a rich text editor or a Word document. But since you guys are developers, um, get comfortable with the tags view first, and then you can switch to the other view. Uh, this one, uh, this is tracking changes. If two authors are working on the same document, uh, like annotation, you can mm, use this to track changes. But for now, let's not get there. Uh, this is merge. It gives you a version history. Um, if you, I'll, we'll, we'll talk about versioning uh, in future classes. Uh, labeling a version and then review task. Like it's a workflow step. You can have one, one author writes content and you can ask the other author to create or review your content and give feedback like a workflow. It is actually a workflow, uh, but work workflow step. And on the top, you can see author view. Uh, we are in author view and then source code view. If you see source code, right? This is data. As you can see, it's using doc type data, data topic. Uh, and then this is the data definition technical content data definition, UTF-8 encoding, XML. And then uh, these are data elements. We created a tick topic, right? Topic with ID. And then we have title, short description, and we used image within body. We have other tags, right? This is the source view. And you can have a preview view as well, uh, how it would look like once you publish it. Uh, and then you can close. But before I do that, go back. You have to click save uh, whenever you think you're ready. Um, whenever your draft changes are done, make sure to click save. If you close, it will ask, hey, it's not saved, but make a practice uh, to click save. It does not auto save for a reason, right? Sometimes you might be doing still, still drafting it. So there is no auto save. You have to manually save. And then this one, yeah. So we created a version. As you can see, there is no, uh, we created a topic. We did not create a version. So the first version, let's say, create, have a label, base 1.0, let's just say 1.0. And you can have a comment if you want. First draft of the article, the topic, get started. We are writing a topic, get started with the EM guides. So you can, you can be as descriptive as you want. So once you have created a version, it shows. And remember, like as soon as you start typing, right, uh, you will see a star here. That means it's not saved. And we are still in 1.0 uh, and say save. And then you create a new version. You can say 1.1 version test, right? And then you can see here somewhere there should be a version history. There was that. Oh, here. Yeah. So you can see different versions that are created. We looked at the example, right? Uh, articles, I think it was in Palo Alto Networks. See, they created versions. So the this is at the article level. Article level two, you can have versions, uh, but this is how like uh, it's referring to one version versus the other. So versioning is important. Um, there's a version history, you can revert um, and then you can merge. Uh, 